think the thing I'm most proud of though is my weight loss. So let's let's dig into it a little more. So when I made the decision, that's when the weight started coming off. How does that work in those hard moments? Now, I will tell you this. I want to tell you all this. Now, this I have not shared with anybody. This is the Kim Duval Show. Let's just go on and spill the tea. This is one of the realest persons I've ever met. My mission is to encourage every single woman. We're here to lift y'all up. There's no one more effective than moms. You mess with the bull, you are gonna get the horns. I need coffee, I need Jesus, and I need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> if you can bring a smile to people's faces, why would you not? True confidence is knowing who you are and why you're here. Hey everybody, it's Kim Gravel, and this is the Kim Gravel Show. Each episode, we are talking, experiencing, you know, learning, growing about how we can level up our lives just a little bit. I know that's what we all want to do. We all want to live these full, rich lives. Um, and, and you can, you can. And every week we're going to be talking about that. So today we are going to be introducing our December series. So we're just doing these amazing little episodes about how to finish strong right here at the holidays, right? So it, it's we've got a few more weeks, I mean, a handful of weeks until the year is over. And 2023 has been, for me personally, a transformational year, Zach. It's been, a, a, um, I mean, I mean, I've written a book. Um, I have started two new companies that, you know, will be launching in 2024. A lot of groundwork has been laid there, but I think one of the, I know, exhausting, but exciting. I think the thing I'm most proud of though is my weight loss. Really? That's the thing you're most proud of. That's, I, that's really, truly, Kim. truly for 2023. When I look back over 2023, I mean, as I'm approaching the new year and I'm looking back, it's so fantastic not to have this heaviness, literally yeah. <laughs> weighing over me like, oh God, I've got to lose this weight. I've got to lose weight. You know, every single year I go into the new year with that goal. Yeah. And as I'm as I'm wrapping up the year before, I'm always going. I wish, uh, you know, I have regrets. So I look back and say, why didn't I do it? Wonder what kept me from it. And it all happened with one decision. Okay, let's dig let's dig into that, Kim, it because did. I think that is something that has been hard for a lot of people to really understand. Um, you know, I was it was actually just on your Facebook the other day, and I was looking at a bunch of comments and so many people mm. commenting on, I think it was one of your live shows or something. And it was like, oh my gosh, Kim, how did you lose the weight? You have to tell us how to lose the weight. You haven't talked about how you lose the weight. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, oh, well, you know, you've talked about it. You're very open about it. But yeah. I think it's hard for people to really kind of get. So let's let's dig into it a little more. I think this okay. was also our most popular episode from the whole season. Uh, ah! of 2023 was the weight loss episodes, your episode, and also the episode that um, we had David Venable talking about his weight loss. And we can link both of those in the show notes. Well, I, I think it's, I, I, I'm not shocked by that because I think it is a epidemic first. It is, is an absolute, like we are such a culture that's obsessed with weight. I think we are at a place where it's a crisis. I think, you know, um, with obesity and diabetes and even it's getting younger and younger and, and younger. Um, but honestly, it has been a struggle for me, Zach, for two decades. Yeah. And it's so funny because Amy and I were talking um, today, actually, because she we had a show this morning and she texts, she goes, girl, you're getting so thin. And I'm really... I'm really not getting any thinner. I've lost the weight. Um, now I'm up to a 50 pound weight loss. Whoa. Uh, I think it's like 48 point something. So we just go round up. Um, wow. So it's a 50 pound weight loss. I am five pounds less than my goal weight that I can, that I wanted. And I don't even want to say goal weight because now my mother, who is bless her heart, she's saying that don't get too thin. I mean, it was just like, I had, like six months ago, my mom was like, no, you need to lose some weight for your health. You need to, and now it's like, don't get too thin. I mean, and how, how crazy is that, Zach, that I've been trying to do this for two decades, but it did start with me getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. And yeah. I just, you know. <laughs> to me, that is such a powerful thing. And it's, 
it's worth sort of repeating this idea of like, you made a decision, but you made it in a way that it really stuck. And I think there's something to that mm. and something behind that. And I want you to talk about that because I think it's, we all need to be reminded that we mm -hmm. have actually like this amazing power inside of us to change our own lives, right? That's the word. That's the word right there. Because when you make a decision, you make a powerful promise to yourself. You know, a lot of times I, I am a person and I know probably a lot of you listening to this right now have a lot of responsibilities and we make a lot of promises and have a lot of responsibility for other people, for businesses, for children, for our households. I mean, we are loaded down with responsibility and we make a lot of promises to other people. And, and a lot of us, when we tell you, a lot of people out there listening to this, you would never dream of letting down a promise or a commitment to your kid. Yeah. A lot of you sitting here listening, you'd be like, I'm going to be at your game and come hell or high water, you're going to be at that game. Yep. Uh, a lot of you said that, you know, you've, you, you're going to buy something and, and you lay down that credit card and that promise to pay and promise to buy and you take it home and you, and you pay your bills. I mean, yep. you pay those promissory notes, right? A lot of us make promises to ourselves that we never keep. I yeah. know I did. I do too, all the time. So when I made the decision, that's when the weight started coming off. Now, a lot of you have asked me, what program did you work? I used Factor, who's one of our sponsors, which is a yeah. meal controlled, very is very nutritional. And, and you're saying, Kim, are you pushing them hard? I am, because they're good. So for those of you who do not have time to go and make nutrition nutritionist meals that are like, nutritional, not nutritionish, nutritional meals that are 550 calories or less, because that's about what you should be eating. You have to be in a calorie deficit. Of course, that's logic to, to lose weight. Um, that's a perfect opportunity to, for you to eat fresh, you know, good for you meals that are not prepackaged and full of sodium and full of cruddy stuff. Okay. And, well, and here's the thing. I think you were going to the drive-thru a lot. Like you needed fast, oh! literally fast food. You were and like- And Factor is fast food. And fast I mean, is not, fast I'm because not, it takes two minutes. It takes, it's but, so but I'm great. not trying to hard sell you on this. Get it or don't get it. But that's, that's, that's just something. I mean, like if you're that person yeah. and you need some solutions here, because people are always saying, Kim, what did you do? I'm telling you what I did. I made the yeah. decision and decided and made a promise to myself, right? And so, so just to widen that out though, portion control, like that's what you did. You yes. cut out like the, you cut well, let, out the Let me get to food. that. Let me okay, get to okay. that. Let me get okay. to that because uh, I was going through drive throughs and, and until I sat down and did the math and listen, I'm going to keep it hundred percent real with you and be very transparent. I was probably eating about 4,000 calories a day. <sighs> wow. 4,000. I did 3,500 to 4,000 calories a day, sometimes yeah. even more. That I wasn't wow. even consciously, I mean, I was just so busy and just, I wasn't like this sitting there going, you know, I, it was not purposeful. It was just convenient. Are you, do you snack? Were you a snacker? Like would oh, you have? Dude, you know I snack. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, so I also to, know that you saying. have like a drawer of sweets in your desk. Cause yeah, I, I mean, I just, it. that's yeah. stress eating. I mean, I stress, yeah. you know, and so, but I wasn't, I wasn't sitting there going, I am stress eating. Okay. Right. I, yeah. I, I just, it was just habit. It was just habit forming. And it was just, it soothed a lot of my, you know, stress. But on top of that, let's not even talk about that because th we're talking about making the decision to do something. So if you're even listening to this and even curious about it, you're ready to make the decision, right? Yeah. So you make the decision. So factor is a way to really have those convenient, set yourself up for success. That's what I did. So I started with factor and then you know, you can't eat factor every day, all day. I can't, I don't have a, I'm not going around traveling the world with a micro, microwave. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I, I had to start really thinking about what I consumed. So I, I got rid of all, because people are asking me how I did it. So I got rid of all sodas, mm -hmm. sweet teas and drinks. I only, this people say, you say, Kim, what's in this cup? It's water. It's not a Coca-Cola. Yeah. It's water with a lime. I don't know if y'all can see go. it. Okay. Okay. I see it. So that's all I drink now. Even if I've got to go through the drive-thru and grit, get a grilled chicken sandwich, I will say, so what drink do you want? I want water. Well, ma'am, you get a drink for free. I want water. Yep. I probably drink 100 ounces of water every day. That's and y'all, I'm telling you, when I did that, I cut out like 1,000 calories. 
drinking sugar is so bad for you because your body, there's actually like, uh, you know, I, my wife is a food anthropologist. So like mm-hmm. we, we talk about this stuff a lot and, you know, obviously like we don't, we have little kids and we're trying to figure out how to like, you know, when do you let them have soda and stuff? And like, you know, we don't let our kids have soda at this age. Um, and it's so hard because your body doesn't know when to stop. Like you can keep drinking it's soda and addictive. keep drinking soda and keep drinking soda. And like I, all cards on the table, I love Coca-Cola. Like love I love Dr. It. Pepper. Yeah. I yeah. love sodas. Yeah. I, that would be my choice. Like if I was like, if you were like, your vice. you put a bunch of, you know, sweets in front of me. And and it's like a you know can of Coke or something. I'll probably choose. You the take Coke. to the cup. It's but it's I so it. much easier. You can drink a lot more than you can eat. So yes. so yeah. that was a that was a choice too. Is cut out the, is cut out all the sodas. I just have water. And you'd be surprised how dehydrated I was. So dehydrated, mm-hmm. like the, I was so swollen. And you'd think I would be retaining water, but the mm-hmm. swelling was coming from my inf- inflammation. So the first three weeks, I looked like I had lost 15, 20 pounds because just of the inflammation going down. Okay, so then after that, I here comes to what I want to talk to you about in this episode. Okay, I made the decision and I made a few tweaks and changes. So it doesn't. I tell you what, the, the decision to make to do this is one thing, and then you don't think these big monumental decisions you have to make in your life. That a lot of times we don't make that decision because we think, oh, all the responsibility that's going to come with making that decision uh, stresses me out. Gives me anxiety. So when I say make little simple changes, you take a bite out of this elephant one bite at a time. Yep. But what comes next? Because so this was this happened a couple of months and I lost like 27 pounds. But okay. what came next was so powerful because I made myself the promise that I was never going to get that way again. Ooh. Wow. Okay. So the, the so you made the promise. What did that do? Like, what did that feel like? Bring us into that moment for you when you realized that you were never going to get it back. Well, when I made the decision to lose the weight um, and I started losing, that gave me momentum. And so there was a point where I thought, I cannot believe I've lost 27 pounds. I look so good. I haven't looked this good in decades. I haven't felt this good in decades. And don't, 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 don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. Say, well, I just want to feel better. No, you want to look good too. There's a part of that. That physicality, looking in the mirror and liking what's looking back at you, that's a very, very powerful exercise. <laughs> okay. Now keep in mind. I still have not incorporated exercise in my routine still to this day. Okay. okay. And I've lost all the weight. People say, you look fantastic. Well, you did say but, you're walking a little bit though, right? A little bit, but not, I'm not, I'm not, it's not on my, it's not on my regimen. It's not a habit. Look, so, y'all, I'm telling you, I did not sit there and kill myself. I didn't sit there and pressure myself and go, I've got to work out. I got to do this. I didn't do that. I just, I, I was very, I was very, graceful to myself. I was very kind to myself. I stopped beating myself up and I stopped, I started just loving right where I'm at. Were you hungry? Like you're eating so many less calories in a day, right? Did you, did you get to the end of the day and you know, you turn the TV on and watch yeah, whatever, I mean, like, des- you know, um, yeah. <laughs> Desperate Housewives, Real Housewives. Yeah. And like, did you want to grab that bag of chips or whatever yeah. and have to like give yourself a pep talk? Like, how does that work in those hard moments? Because I think those are the moments of weakness where it's like, I know I had like a really hard day yesterday. I got to the end of the day and I grabbed like one of those sleeves of like um, chips and I ate mm. almost the whole thing. And I was like, oh, that's bad. That was really bad. I should yeah. not have done that. Yeah. But this is what you're doing. You're already beating yourself up thinking about what am I going to do when I get to, to a point of I, I, I need this or I want this or I deserve this or I'm stressed. Let yourself have 10 chips. Y'all, right. I'm telling you, part of it is how we are viewing ourselves. Or for me, it was. Again, I'm just speaking from my own personal experience. Like, yeah, there was times where I sat there and was watching whatever um, I got, I filled my jug up with water and I drank the water and I had the 10 chips. I didn't have the whole sleeve. 
And then the next time I had five chips. And then by the time now I don't even eat chips. Y'all, I'm telling you, it, it, it was a point. And so, so fast forward where I've lost to 27 pounds. And I thought to myself, I'm going to make myself promise that I'm never going to be this way again. I'm never going back. I'm never going back to where I was idolizing and worshiping the struggle of my weight loss again. Because that struggle becomes you know such a big part of it for everyone. It's, it's, addict- it's as addictive as sugar. Yep. And so people said, um, so people just say to me, oh, when you lose the weight, you're just going to feel so empowered and you're going to feel the. I don't. I felt empowered after I made the decision and made the promise to myself. That's when I started feeling the empowerment. Now I just feel like, wow, I can wear more things. I can, I, I mean, I can, I don't, I, I feel more empowered now because I go, you know what? I don't want the Snickers. I'll have the blueberries. That's empowerment. Mm-hmm. That's a person that's empowered. That knows the muscle of my decision-making is so strong now that I have no problem going, yeah, I'll pass. But like today, Travis took me to lunch and I had, I had nachos, but guess how many I had? I had half of them. Right. I said, ma'am, do you have a half order? I don't. And I said, well, I'm going to get the nachos anyway because this is what I'm hankering for. And I only ate half. I didn't have to eat all the nachos. So guess who inhaled them all? Travis, after <laughs> I didn't eat them. But I'm just saying, that's the thing. Split meals. Right. Start small. Yeah. But make that decision and then make that promise to yourself. This is actually something that... Um uh, that book that talks about building habits, um, that, atomic habits. Yes. Atomic habits. Thank you, Kim is so great. And it's like, there's a part of it where it's like, you have to make the decision before you make the decision. Absolutely. In other words, like, but it starts with the decision. Yeah. Like yeah. you made the decision that you weren't going to eat the whole plate before you even ordered. Right. Mm -hmm. You didn't, it wasn't like in the moment where the nachos are staring at you and you like, you know, you could just keep eating. You already knew. You Correct. already had made the decision. But I didn't to deny to myself to get the nachos, though. That's what yeah. I'm saying, y'all. It's not about denial. It's about decision. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. What do you hope to get this holiday season? You know, like, what does it feel like to, to give, to give to your family, to your friends, to your loved ones? No matter how you spend the holiday season, and it can be hard for a lot of us this time of year, The holidays are the perfect time to give back to yourself. And y'all, therapy is a great way to do just that. Therapy isn't just for people who have experienced trauma. It can be helpful to learn skills like boundary setting and coping or just have someone to listen to you. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, and all you've got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist. And y'all, let me just tell you, you're not stuck to that therapist. You can always switch therapist at any time at no additional charge. So in this season of giving, give yourself what you need with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash gravel today to get 10% off your very first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash gravel and give yourself some better help. If you're like me, you absolutely love the holiday season. I am a holiday person, and I've got the best, greatest gift idea for you. Factor Meals has been such a game changer for me. I mean, you know I've been on this health journey, and I've lost weight, and y'all, I feel good, but I feel satisfied. You know what I'm saying? During the holidays, you want to eat, you want to nibble, do it the right way. Um, They have helped me lose weight, keep it off with their calorie conscious meals that are 550 calories, but they don't taste it. Uh Uh-uh. They taste like they 150,000 calories. Okay. They're yummy. They're delicious. By supporting our sponsors, you're supporting the show and helping us grow. Let's head over to factormeals.com slash Kim50 and use code Kim50. 50, that's Kim 5 to get 50% off. Give the gift of health to somebody that you know would enjoy it. Giving Factor Meals to a loved one is a great holiday gift, or you can give yourself the gift, huh? Treat yourself, gift yourself, and try these Factor Meals. Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service. It is chef-prepared, dietitian approved 
ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. So this December, give yourself or your loved ones the gift of healthy, delicious food with Factor. All you got to do is head over to factormeals.com slash Kim50 and use code Kim50, that's Kim50, to get 50% off. Yeah, 50% off. That's code Kim50 at factormeals.com slash Kim50 to get 50% off. And give yourself the holiday gift of all times. Health with some good eating. So, so Kim, this is a big question that that a lot of people are like curious about, and it's like all these new weight loss pills, right? Yeah, and mm-hmm. they there's work. all, of course, there's people online being like, "Oh, Kim's just on pills and whatever," and <laughs> you haven't talked about weight loss pills at all. Yeah. and I want to speak to the people because this is like changing a lot of people's lives, right? Um, That's fantastic, wanna, though. What you, is that yeah, not fantastic? What's your take on that? What's your take this on that? This is the whole thing. That's fantastic. But make the decision to do something. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what the something is that you're doing. Why, why are we judging all of that? Don't make whatever works for you. Y'all, Amy, right. Amy worked out five days a week with a personal trainer and ate a strict regimen diet and yeah. lost 80 pounds. And she looks amazing. Yeah. She looks amazing. Who cares how she did it? She did it. So if you need a diet pill or a, 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 a weight loss injection or whatever, factor meals or you're cutting back, whatever it's going to, y'all, there is no perfect way. We all know, we all know how to lose weight. It's a over a billion dollar industry annually. It yeah, does, hu- I mean, huge why are we industry. hung up on the how? And actually, I just read an article about how Weight Watchers is changing its entire business yeah. model to be more in the business of prescribing like more weight loss pills and things. Like that's where they're moving their entire model, and they're closing down like store, you know, storefronts and things because they know this is the next thing. And I think I agree with you. There is a weird stigma, though. I think it comes from like weight well, loss pills used to be really bad. I think weight loss pills used to be really bad for you, like. 20 years ago. And well, so but, but, am but I right again, about that? Uh, again, we are idolizing and we are stressing and we are focusing on the weight loss pills. It's not about that. The weight loss pills are not what's important. You are. The yeah. diet is not what's important. You are. Right. It's you. And it's how you feel about yourself. Is well, you that- just you just have to. It's like it's like plastic surgery. People get so so. What if you want to go get plastic surgery? Make sure you've got a great doctor and don't don't go crazy. <laughs> but go get a little Botox if that's y'all. I'm telling you. But it, but because that's all a distraction. Okay, when when you're sitting there going, how did she do this? How did he do this? But I get it. You know, I mean. I, 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 mine was not even medically motivated. My doctor was not threatening me with 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 a bunch of you know right. pills or you know you're gonna whatever like like David Venable. You know his doctor yeah. was like, look, you're gonna have an issue, and that motivated him. What motivated me was looking through my journal, and I'm sick and tired of saying that I get bored so easy, and I have been carrying this brick too long. I should I can't believe I have sat here every single month of every single week. And every single day going, I can lose weight. Y'all, it, it went in my head every day. I wish I could lose weight. Every time I look in the mirror, I need to lose weight. And but I got sick of that. Trying to sick lose weight it. was a big part of who you were, though. It was part of how you saw yourself, right, Kim? Yeah. That's, I think... My, my identity was in the struggle. Yes. And I think for all the people online asking, oh, how did you do it? How did you do it? How did you mm-hmm. do it? I'm telling you how I did it. Flip it. Flip it. Ask yourself, how am I going to do it? How do like, you want to do it? Because like but you're what saying, I'm saying Kim, is the tools are like, out there. Like you the can Google it. Some of you are sitting there going, I want to lose weight. Go to your doctor and get what you need to get to lose weight if that's for you. Yep. Or do like, like I did. And I just, I cut everything. I cut everything in half over a period of time. Now, keep in mind, you have to be honest with yourself. I had to sit down and so I was eating 4,000 calories a day on a regular basis. Yeah. If you eat 4,000 calories a day on a regular basis in 30 days, you will gain 10 pounds. And don't work out, especially. <laughs> you know? It doesn't matter. You can't, it's 80% what you eat. Yeah. You can work out till the cows come home, baby, and not lose weight. Yep. It's all on what you eat. So for me, I was addicted to high 
you know, preservative, high sugar, drive through foods. When I cut that out, my body was like, hallelujah, and it dropped it. Y'all, when you go to eat from eating 4,000 calories a day to 1,500, you're going to lose weight. But are you counting calories? I did. I did. I don't anymore. Now I pretty much know what I can eat. But you did for part of the weight loss. Part of that was counting calories. Now I will tell you this. I want to tell you all this. Now this I have not shared with anybody. And I want to be really transparent about this. Okay. Um, I did do intermittent fasting. And I did. Oh, I forgot. I I should have been told this a long time ago. I apologize, y'all. I did do intermittent fasting. And I did it. I ate based on my blood type. I'm a negative blood type. Oh, and so the blood I'm being negative. I did the blood type and, and for my blood type and, and a lot of people are in my family have diabetes. I stopped eating after six. And a lot of times I would not eat unless I was just really, really hungry to like noon. Wow. And that time period of time of fasting, you will never convince me did not jumpstart my okay. metabolism. Wow. So, I've read a lot of things about it. Again, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a dietitian. You would need to really go check that for yourself. But it helped me because I stopped going through Chick-fil-A in the morning for a biscuit, you know, and all that, everything that comes oh, with you it. You would had, go for breakfast even. Wow. that's Yeah, y'all. It was 4,000. I mean, I'm being, I don't have much more to say. It was a lot. Yeah. Well, and I think, you know, and and look, I know for some people, I know people that, you know, that I'm very close with that could not do that. Right, like that that have blood sugar that's such that like correct they feel terrible if you don't eat and like keep you know like but I'm saying that's what I did. people so, ask me yeah, what I, I did. I just want to say that Do, you know that's but not I'm for just everybody, telling you it's not for everybody. But it worked but, for that's really interesting. But it, how did I didn't do that out, at how, first. Wait, how did you find out what your blood type? I want like I want to dig into this, Kim. How did you find out? you know, what your blood type was and then what that means for intermittent fasting. Was there a book you read or a certain program? I just went online and, and Googled okay. it. I did. And my doctor, you know, I know what blood type I am because I'm a negative blood type. So with my children, you know, I had mm-hmm. the RH factor. So I had to really be, you know, okay. I had to have shots before I had them. I had to have shots before I had them. So I knew I was a negative blood type. Both okay. my parents are negative blood types. So, okay. and I just started reading about it and, and it was very interesting and it made a lot of sense. But again, I'm not saying that's what you need to do. But can I just say, whatever it is you need to do, make the decision to do it right now. And right now. It, and can I just say, can I just say something in defense of just taking like incremental steps and not going all in Correct. on something right That's away? That's what I did. Like, you, like everything, in, and this is something that David Venable said in, in his great episode about this. It's like everything in moderation. Like, you can, well, and he you dropped can his have, weight pretty fast. He dropped yeah. his weight pretty fast too. But again, people say, well, how did you drop it so fast? I really, it's been, it's been nine months. So yeah. people think it's it's not been that fast. I, I, I have gotten to my goal weight in nine months. To okay. me, that's realistic. I only needed 50 pounds, like 47 pounds to lose. So, okay. do, so do the math. I mean, there was yeah. a big weight loss really quick in two months. It was 27 pounds, but that's because my body was just like, what the... <laughs> right? Yep. Cause it was so, it took me a lot longer to lose the last half of it. But oh. do you see what I'm saying? That? Why did it take longer? Because to I, my body was in shock after not eating 4,000 calories every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so it was went, just like, I mean, and then, so what I'm saying yeah. is David lost his fast too. I mean, it took him about eight months, I think he said. And yeah. so really it, but you will start seeing results if you really make a change, if you really make a, a change and you say, well, Kim, You made a big change, but it was only one change. It was cutting back what I was eating by, you know, I I was eating a fourth of what I was. And and when you do that, it it was, it was, it was very powerful. It was very powerful. And it was, it was normal. What I was eating was not normal. (laughs) So for you, some of you, you you might be eating 2,500, 15, 2,000. I don't know what you're eating. I just telling you for me, I was overeating. If, if you're, if maybe you're not, maybe, maybe you need to up your water intake and get rid of the drink, start something yep. and you'll see results, but you got to make the decision to start. And then you got to put a promise to yourself once you start doing it, that you are going to continue on with the process because eight months down, I've done it. And Kim, like, seriously, you look great. And, but don't get too thin. <laughs> don't get too, don't oh my God. like, listen to your mom. No worries there, people. Okay. <laughs> Do you still go through the drive through yeah, I do. Okay. Mm-hmm. I went out to eat today. We it wasn't yeah. a drive-through, but it was a restaurant. I mean, we, Travis yeah. and I went to Mexican. I had 
about the plate of nachos. I ate a half of them. And, and, and did I have what to have for breakfast? I had a, oh, these are the best honey bee apples. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. No, they're no. sugar bee. Sugar bee apples. They're these little red apples. They're crisp. And I ate an apple and I had a piece of toast with peanut butter on it. That's what I had this morning because I didn't, I didn't fast this morning. Sounds and then tonight. Like what my kids ate for breakfast. <laughs> easy. Yeah. Where I normally would have a, a, a 1,500 to 1,600 calorie meal at Chick-fil-A. Right. And I still eat Chick-fil-A. I just get my water and I don't eat the hash browns and I still get my biscuit and I love it. There you go. All right, y'all. Well, that's it. This is the start. This is, I, I, this is our December series, Zach. And we are going to, we're going to call this episode the decision, December, the, the December of decision, because a lot of you are wanting to make some big life changes. If whether it's your weight or your health or whatever, yep. I'm here to tell you, we support you. And we believe in you. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay? Make the decision and make that promise to yourself and watch your life level up. It's going to be a fun month, y'all. The holidays are here. And we, got, and we have new episodes coming out all through December. So yes. you will not miss. You don't want to miss it. Any of it. All right. All right. Love y'all. Make Love your decision. Bye. Bye. Um, <clears throat> hold on. <clears throat> um, I think the most, um, I think the thing I'm most, we can get it at our fingertips. There's a, it's a bill, it's billions and billions of years, do, money. It's billion. <laughs> oh, let me say this. <laughs>